Hey guys, how's it going? Uh, welcome to a video where I am going to be discussing something quite important for YouTube channels and specifically mine. And this is all going to drive down to one point that I want to make about my channel, um, so you guys kind of understand. So um, today's topic will be about niche and kind of variation on uh, YouTube. So just to give you a rundown, if you don't know what niche or variation means, niche is like when you're fulfilling a market for one specific thing. So let's say um, I'm in a market that only wants oranges. There's per people who only like oranges. And there's only a then there's people who like apples as well. You know, if they want one specific thing, that's a niche. But if you're a vari if variation, on the other hand, is where one person may want apple, pear, banana, orange, you know, all those things. I probably could have explained that better, I am sorry, but I hope you get what I kind of mean by that. So yeah, that's what it means. But in terms of YouTube, it's very important for the for the growth of your channel. Don't ask me, because I am not a successful YouTuber, so, you know, that is it. But, um, so, there are many advantages and disadvantages of um, doing that type of content. So, let's talk about uh, variation content. So, if you are doing varied content, so for example, I'm doing Minecraft currently. Let's say I was doing Minecraft, Resident Evil, Crash, um, Spyro, you know, all those games. The great advantage of doing that is that you don't have to stay on one thing and you can adapt an audience. So, if you do manage to grow an audience from your random content, um, you know, you might be able to, uh, you know, they'll adapt to your other content so you can just keep them, right? It's amazing. It's such a good way of building an audience. However, the disadvantage of doing variation content... I've got a train that just went by. Sorry about that. <laughs> train just went by interrupting my audio. So uh, this kind of ties into the niche parts of it, but a problem with doing variation content is the fact that, well... Let's say you're doing niche, right? And, uh, no, no, you're doing varied content, but then all of a sudden you move on and do something, let's say, Minecraft, right? You're doing, you've went for your Resident Evil, you crashed and you're sparring, now you're only doing Minecraft. Wink, wink, you know, this is kind of going to the point. Um, you know, people get angry with that. People don't like that you, you do that because you're straying away from what the people want. And you're only doing Minecraft. If you have a good viewer base, they will accept it. But if you have a bad one, it could have some horrific effects on your channel. Um, if you are doing niche content, the advantage of doing niche is that if you love one thing and you keep going for it and you get a, you grow an audience out of it, you are going to have an amazing time because you do not need to go anywhere else. Minecraft, for example. Still moving on to the point. But a disadvantage of niche is kind of the same way around with variation content. So, let's say I'm only doing Minecraft, and then I go and say, you know what? Let's do Minecraft, let's do Minecraft, Spyro, Crash, Resident Evil. People get upset with that because, you know, they love Minecraft, but, you know, they're not getting it, so they unsubscribe. Um, you know, so there's not really a perfect way of going about this. And that's kind of the problem with YouTube. You really have to dig around to find the right thing that works for you. Um, you know, there's a few channels out there I can kind of give a little um, shout out to because I think that, um, you know, just like, you know, I'll, I'll explain it. So, The Badger Show, uh, he's a good YouTube friend of mine. Um, he does very, very varied content, very varied. He has a great, like, his growth is insane. He doesn't just do gaming as well. He does this type of style of content, which is really good. Um, because, it, you know, it can kind of build out of audiences outside of just gaming. So that's, you know, that's great. And, you know, I'm glad he's done that. And his, grow his, his channel is... Train. <laughs> his, his channel has grown, like, so well for it. And, you know, I'm very happy for him. And then, now let's go to the opposite side of the scale. We have uh, a channel called Old School Johnny. Johnny, if you're watching, hello. Um, you know, your channel is very varied as well. Um, you know, you're even though technically you are fulfilling a niche, you're technically filling a niche, but at the same time, you're actually very varied as you love doing old school games, you know, like um, Twin Sanity, like playing the old Far Cry games, you know, 
um, you know, it's still fulfilling a niche because people love old games, but at the same time, it's varied because you're doing different games, so it works perfectly. You like if you hit the right spot, like John, if you hit the right spot on your channel, you could do some very good things um, with that channel. You just gotta, you know, just keep working hard, and you'll be good to go. And that's not me giving you pointers, by the way. But now this is revolving back to the point. So, um, you know, it's came to my attention that a lot of people have noticed that my content is no longer varied. It's not variety. There's no variation in it. Um, and I'm aware of this as well. And what you guys need to understand is I love Minecraft. Minecraft is one of my top 10 games of all time. And the fact that I'm loving playing it currently and I'm getting amazing viewership and subscribers from it, I, you know, can you blame me for not wanting to back away from it right now? And one thing I need to really address for everyone around here is I am not a Minecraft streamer. I mean, it may seem like it right now. My content may consist of more Minecraft than my normal content. But you must understand that as soon as I get bored with Minecraft, I am gone. I will move on to something else and, you know, it's just like that. But for right now, you need to... Thanks. <laughs> Thanks, Train, for the third time. It's like he knows I'm recording. Um, you know, you, uh, you, you know, for you Minecraft viewers out there, you will see a lot more of it, Minecraft. So you should be happy with that. But if you're um, someone who is expecting crash content, other things like that, you won't be seeing as much of it for now. But remember, it's not the end of the world. I will change content eventually. I'm just enjoying myself so much that... Um, you know, it's just great for my channel in general, and it's great for building an audience as well, so they can also watch other things in the in the future. Um, but yeah, that's kind of my whole point. I hope you guys understand and you know understand what I'm talking about. You know, keep this in mind for your channels because it could you know could deeply affect them if you go about it the wrong way. So um, yeah, uh, thank you guys ever so much again. Thank you for 600 subscribers. We're well on our way to 700. And I will talk to you later with another Badger Chat or even a stream. All right, thank you. Goodbye.